Thus saith the Lord, yeah. Hast thou killed and also taken possession? Mm -hmm. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, In the place where dogs lick the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood. Yeah. Shall dogs lick thy blood, even thine. All right. Oh, but what happened to the pleasure he was enjoying mm -hmm. with the strange woman? Yeah. What happened to the pleasure that sin was bringing him? What happened to the joy, no doubt, that he felt when he walked into Naboth's vineyard and thought, yeah. I got it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah, you're fixing to get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're fixing to get it. Right. I got what I wanted. And that's what sin will do. Oh, you'll be feeling so, you'll be feeling to the point of ecstasy. I got it. I got it. And then all of a sudden, uh -huh. you ain't got it no more. Yeah. He's got you. Amen. And there ain't no way of undoing what it done. And Ahab said to Elijah, Hast thou found me, O my enemy? And he answered, I have found thee because thou hast sold thyself to work evil. Did you hear that? What have we been saying sin will do? It'll make you a slave. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. How they used to do slaves? You stand them on the street corner, some of the highest bidder. Ahab sold himself yeah. to wickedness. Mm -hmm. Wickedness had became his taskmaster. Yeah. That's what sin will do to you. Amen. That's what sin will do to you, Sister Nancy. Mm -hmm. It don't take no, listen, it don't take no hostages. That's right. It'll kill you. Yes. Amen. It ain't happy with just having you. It wants to kill you. Amen. It wants to destroy you. And that's what's happened to Ahab. That's right. Poor old Ahab. Where's Jezebel and her strange lips to ease his conscience and soothe his pain now. Yeah. He says, I will make thy hand. Listen to what he tells him, Brother Sleese. Can I talk to you for a minute? Verse 22. And I will make thine house like the house of Jeroboam. Mm -hmm. What did we start off reading? The Bible said that Ahab thought it a light thing to walk in the sins of who? Jeroboam. Mm -hmm. And God is saying the same fate that Jeroboam suffered, you will suffer. Mm -hmm. right. Because you walked in the same sins and you thought it was a light thing, mm -hmm. you walked in the same sins of Jeroboam and you will eat from the same crop that he planted mm -hmm. yeah. because you planted the same kind of seed. Mm -hmm. I love the way God words things. Mm -hmm. Amen. So much detail. How in the world can you not think this is the Word of God? Oh, really? My goodness. If it... How in the world can you not believe that it's inspired from front to back? Amen? Right. He said you're going to get the same thing that Jeroboam got. Come on. Listen to this. And like the house of Basha, the son of Ahijah, mm -hmm. for the provocation wherewith thou hast provoked me to anger and made Israel to sin. Yeah. And of Jezebel also spake the Lord, saying, The dog shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Did you oh, hear that? Boy. He says again in verse 25, mm -hmm. talking to Ahab, he said, You sold yourself to wickedness in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. Who Jezebel, his wife, the Bible says, stirred up. Yeah. You see, sin will stir you up. Come on. That's what happened to David when he walked out there on the rooftop. He got stirred up. Right. Amen. Sin stirred him up. Amen. The lips of a strange woman we're calling sin today will stir you up. All right. It'll talk to you. It'll Amen. entice you. It'll seduce you. Amen. And unless you realize the answer for it, unless you realize the antidote for it, yeah. it'll kill you. Amen. Amen. And the only cure for it is the blood. Yeah. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Right. So what did Ahab do? I'm closing. Ahab rent his clothes and he humbled himself and the Lord said, well, since you humbled yourself and you rent your clothes and you've repented now, this thing's still going to happen, but your sons are the ones that blood's going to be spilt here and going to be licked up in the same place that Naboth was. Judgment would still come to Ahab, but this particular thing would be visited upon his sons. This morning's a good time to talk about this since it's Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Did you know, Daddy, the seeds that you sow don't just affect you, they affect your sons and your daughters. Right. Amen. You don't just sin and get by with it and it don't bother no. I've heard people say, well, it ain't nobody's business but mine. You crazy thing. Yeah. Your sin affects everybody else too. Amen. Amen. That's 
Right. Complete families destroyed by sins right. of the father. Amen? Yeah. Or sins of the mother. Come on. So anyway, he says, I won't bring this to pass upon you, but your son's blood, and you can find that it's in there, your son's blood will be looked up in the same place that Naboth's was. But what happens to Ahab? Four years later, now you might think today that you're sinning and you're getting by with it and God ain't even... Phew, God don't care. He ain't paying no attention to me. Mm -hmm. Deferred judgment or deferred reaping does not mean no reaping at all. Yeah. See, you may not reap from what you're sowing today. Right. You, but you might reap from it tomorrow. Amen. You may not reap from it tomorrow. That's right. But you might reap from it next week. Right. Maybe not next week, but... Ahab, time and time, he might have got to the place where he thought, well, I got by with that. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says in 1 Kings 22 and 34, you don't have to go there, I'm trying to hurry, that a certain man drew a bow and he just shot it to be shooting. Mm -hmm. He didn't even know he was shooting at. Didn't even know the king was in the area. Mm -hmm. And that arrow, and you can say it was coincidence, I say it was divine intervention. All right. He drew back that arrow, Brother David, and he let it go. And you know, out of all things, that arrow went through the air. Could have hit a tree. They went around a tree. Yeah. Man went over top of a hill. But you know where it found itself? Deep inside Ahab. Yeah. And this man, all he did was just look per adventure. Let me just shoot an arrow. And that arrow guided by the hand of God. Sin's finished work. The arrow hits the king and the king dies. All right. You hear what I'm saying this morning? Mm. Hey, Brother Billy, that's scary. Good. A certain man drew a bow at a venture and smote the king of Israel between the joints of his harness, of the harness. Wherefore he said unto the driver of the chariot, Turn thine hand and carry me out, for I'm wounded. Yep. So the king died and he was brought to Samaria and they buried the king in Samaria. And one washed the chariot in the pool of Samaria, and the dogs licked up his blood, and they washed his armor. Yeah. You hear that? Amen. The arrow hits him. He bleeds out in his chariot. They take him and bury him, but as they're washing the chariot, here comes these old dogs. Mm -hmm. and they start licking up the blood of Ahab. Mm -hmm. Seeing when it is finished, Brings forth this. Well, Brother Billy, what about that strange woman? What about Jezebel? Yeah. She would live 15 years longer thinking that she got away with her stuff. Mm. Amen? Yeah. And the Bible says one day she paints herself up like the harlot that she was. Sets herself up high on the wall. She's going to try to entice and seduce this other young leader that's coming to town. Mm. Jehu. Yeah. And when he sees her up there, he commands her to be thrown down. And it says they threw her down. It's in 2 Kings, the ninth chapter. They threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall. What God say? He said her blood's going to be licked up by the dogs. Where? By the wall of Jezreel. Isn't that what he said? Amen. Right there by the wall. And it says that they threw her down and when she hid her blood sprinkled against the wall and the horses trampled her under her feet, under their foot. Man, that's pretty bad. Ain't it? Bad enough to fall off a wall. Then the horses run over you. And they went to bury her. You see the young man, the young leader goes and he says, listen, after all, she was, she was a king's daughter. Go and bury her. Go put her to rest. And when they went back to get her body, the Bible says when they went to bury her in 2 Kings 9 and 35, they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Wherefore they came again and told him and said, This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying in the portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel, and the carcass of Jezebel shall be as done upon the face of the field. What happened? The same thing that God said was going to happen. Right. God's speaking to us today whenever He says that when lust hath conceived, it brings forth sin. And when sin is finished, it brings forth death. Same result today as it was then. Yeah. 
Ahab's sin and his lust and his greed would bring him death. Jezebel's sin, her lust and her greed would bring her death. Your sin, unless you take it to the cross, will bring forth death. Amen. It'll kill you. That's true. Amen. Amen. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Right. When lust hath conceived, it brings forth sin. And when sin, when it is finished, we see the results. Right. It brings forth death. Amen. Do not err, my beloved brethren. That's my message for you today out there that listen by radio and by YouTube and Facebook and VOTL TV and CDs and cassettes. Do not err, mm -hmm. my brethren. Know today that sin still kills. Right. Amen. Amen. And that the only cure for it, the thing that saved you is the same thing that keeps you. I believe in daily repentance. Amen. Yeah. I believe in daily forgiveness from God. Amen. Yeah. I believe in daily confession. Amen. I say, God, I've sinned. I've messed up. Right. Forgive me. Amen. And if you're going to say that I'm wrong in doing that, then you're going to have to have a talk with James and John and Paul and yeah. Peter and all the other people that taught the same thing right. as I've been teaching you for six sermons. Sin will kill you. And to ignore it only allows it to grow. Right. And to think you can play with fire and not get burnt makes you a bigger fool than Saul. Amen. Amen. True. Saul said, I have played the fool. and I have erred exceedingly and played the fool. Mm -hmm. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Sin still kills. Right. Sin still kills. Amen. Somebody else have something this morning.